We know the best place for our students to succeed is back in the classroom. We recently announced our back to school plan for the province of Nova Scotia and as of September 8th we're expecting all of our students to be back in school with a full curriculum. We have worked with the IWK, Public Health, our union partners and also taking into consideration feedback we received from you. 28,000 surveys were conducted from parents, students and teachers and all of this has led to a comprehensive plan to help our students succeed in school while protecting and mitigating against the risk of COVID-19 transmission. There are new safety protocols in place, including mandatory mask wearing on buses to and from school, and for high school students who are traveling to different classes in the hallways. We also have enhanced cleaning protocols and sanitization protocols that are in place, and we'll be hiring additional staff to help ensure that we are meeting the new health and safety guidelines from a cleaning perspective. We'll also be bubbling uh, our students and trying to keep them together uh, as much as possible to mitigate against the risk of, of COVID-19 transmission. In the event that the risk of COVID-19 spread does increase in Nova Scotia, we also have some contingency plans in place that will help us respond to whatever that risk level is, including uh, moving to a blended learning model where older students will do the bulk of their learning from home while accessing school for specialty courses like skilled trades and for additional help or access to the internet if that's required. While our younger students stay in school and while we utilize the additional space that we'll acquire to ensure that proper social distancing is happening. We can also move to a fully at home learning model, but there's improvements from last year, including access to devices. We've purchased 14,000 devices and any student that needs access to a device for uh, in the event of blended learning or at home learning model, they will get that. We also will have consistency in instruction uh, for students uh, from their teachers. And we heard from you that assessment was really important to keep students motivated and assessment will continue to take place whether we're in a blended learning model or an at-home learning model as well. Uh, furthermore, we'll also respond locally to any COVID challenges that arise, which means that if there's an outbreak in a particular school uh, or family of schools or region, we can respond locally to those issues and move to a blended learning or at-home learning model specifically there while not impacting the learning experience of students across the province. We really believe that uh, this plan allows us to find that balance of mitigating against the risk of, of COVID-19 spread while ensuring that our students get the best from our education system. Uh, we'll be communicating uh, further over the course of the next number of weeks to families on how you can prepare uh, for the new protocols that are in place and the new habits that our students are going to have to have when they get back to school in September. For more information on our back to school plan, please visit the website below.